Here are just some osmosis uh, practice problems. In this uh, diagram, I have a beaker with a liquid, a solution, and some sort of a cell in the middle. I can see that my solution has 90% glucose, and if I assume that and water are the only thing in there, I can then assume 10% water, seeing as it has to add up to 100%. And then in the cell, I have 10% glucose, which means I have 90% water. So decide where the water wants to go. Water wants to go from a high concentration to a low concentration. 90 is greater than 10, so water will move out of the cell, which means seeing as uh, there's less water um, in the solution than there is in the cell and water is moving out of the cell, we are in a hypertonic solution. And the cell will ultimately shrivel. Uh, different example here. We have 20% glucose, which means 80% water. 60% glucose in the cell, which means 40% water. We want to go from high to low concentration. 80 is greater than 40, so water moves into the cell. That means we are in a hypotonic solution and in that case the cell will swell and possibly burst. Last but not least here we have 0.2 m glucose and I'll just mention that that capital M is going to be in, uh, is going to be associated with molarity. You can think of molarity like a concentration, higher molarity, higher concentration, and therefore lower molarity, lower concentration. And of course, the higher amount of solute, whether it be in percentage or molarity, means that you will have a decreased amount of water because it all has to add up to the same percentage. But notice here that you have 0.2 molar glucose and 0.2 molar glucose, which means whatever else is, is left in the water, you have the exact same amount. So if you have the exact same amount of solute, you must have the exact same amount of water, which means water will move, and it will move into and out of the cell at a constant rate, which means we are in an isotonic. solution and the cell will stay the same.